Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Vice President of the Timepiece Division for Casio America and your host for the evening, David Johnson. <laughs> What's up, New York? Oh, G-Shock at Madison Square Garden. All right? Amazing. Absolute thrill to be standing on this stage in this building and talking to y'all about something I love. So thank you for joining us on a very special evening as we celebrate G-Shock's 35th anniversary at our Shock the World world premiere. And you know what that means, New York. It means we chose this city to kick off G-Shock's year-long worldwide celebration. So come on and give it up. Let's show why New York is the right choice, right? And that truly what is what tonight symbolizes for us. It's a, it's a time of celebration. As we review the industry today, G-Shock is the brand that continues to over-deliver in a rapidly changing landscape. For the past 35 years, our timepiece portfolio has continued to grow and evolve from resin to metal, digital to analog, and trendy to sophisticated. G-Shock is a brand that has progressed to fit the lifestyles and passions of many, delivering a combination of function and style that is unmatched in today's market. Well, we have an exciting evening planned, so Without further hesitation, let me introduce the COO and president of Casio Computer, Kazuhiro Casio. Good evening. Thank you for being here tonight. 2017 is certainly a special year for G-Shock but it is also a special year for Casio. This past June, Casio celebrated its 60th anniversary. Currently, Casio makes a wide range of products, such as watches, scientific calculators, keyboards, and projectors. Our corporate creed is creativity and contribution, and it started in 1957 with the introduction of Casio's first product, the 14A calculator. With this product, our founders wished to release people from the stress of hand calculation. So they developed the world's first all-electric compact calculator. It's hard to imagine, but this was considered small for each time. Using the digital technology cultivated from calculators, Casio entered into various other fields, including watches, keyboards, and digital cameras, to name a few. Looking back on our products since 1957, I think you will see our introductions have a purpose. We ensure that whatever the product is, it will be really useful for the consumer. G-Shock is one such example that has stood the test of time, not only as an outstanding innovation, but as a constant in the lives of those who proudly wear their favorite style each day. Casio's future will include the continued development of products that will enhance everyday life and make you think, how did I ever live without this? I'm proud to say this evening the CES 2018 Innovation Awards analysts have just been announced, and our smart outdoor watch has been chosen in the wearable technology category. It truly is an honor to create products 
that people can count on as everyday items, like G-Shock. We will continue to create and contribute to people's lives for many years to come. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cascio. You now, it truly is amazing when you think about the everyday items that Cascio's brought to market when 60 years ago, those items were unimaginable. A visionary mind is what made G-Shock a reality. That visionary mind had a dream to develop a watch to withstand everyday wear built on the concept of absolute toughness. His dream to create a watch that didn't break even when dropped became a world's first. A watch that would enable users to wear it not only when washing their car, but when they're surfing or skiing or just about anything else. G-Shock is, of course, shock resistant. The revolutionary hollow case structure with its all directional guard design and cushioning of key parts protects the watch module from direct shocks. And G-Shock is vibration resistant. We place impact absorbing alpha gel around a special module and case design to prevent inaccuracies caused by extreme vibration. G-Shock is also resistant to centrifugal force, which will disrupt the timekeeping operation in other analog watches. But the original design of our watch provides the perfect balance for accurate timekeeping that can withstand a force surpassing 12 Gs. And of course, all G-Shocks are 200 meter water resistant. So G-Shock was born from this man's dream. And for the last 35 years, he's continued to evolve and pursue absolute toughness. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the father of G-Shock, Mr. Kikuro Ibe. Tonight, many guests have come to honor this milestone with us. And we've asked a few very talented friends to join us on stage to tell you their G-Shock stories. Our first guest is an Olympian, Winter X Games medalist, and a U.S. Grand Prix champion, ladies and gentlemen, Louis Vito. Man, I know I gotta talk fast, but uh, how do I fit, how uh, G-Shock fits my lifestyle in a short time is, is really hard, so I'll try to fit it all in, but, um, I've always, throughout my career, wanted to partner with companies that I believed in and, and the companies believed in me. And G-Shock, from the moment I saw what they were doing in action sports with Stevie Williams and Nigel Sylvester, I was like, man, I got to be a part of this brand. Um, I know their watches are unbelievable, um, the videos are putting out, and how much they listen to the athletes and involve the athletes in, from the edits to the design. And now with G-Shock, 35 years, I mean, they make a watch for every occasion. So if I'm snowboarding, I always have a watch on. I don't have to worry about it getting too cold and breaking. I don't have to worry about it getting frozen and stuck. I don't have to worry about not being able to see the time in the sun or in a blizzard. It always works no matter what. Then if I'm in LA and we have to go to a red carpet event, well, you gotta watch for that. One that's uh, more of a classier piece or you can color coordinate it with any of the wide varieties of colors they have. You know, to me, G-Shock literally has every basis covered for every single person. Whatever you need it for, they make a model just for that, and one that's reliable, 24-7, 365. And that's pretty much why I have a watch on me, 24-7, 365. I mean, every trip I go on, I have six of them, and that's not even an exaggeration. I travel with six watches just because I never know what I'm gonna wear, or what I need to use it for.
but I always have it. And I'm very fortunate and blessed to be working and partnered with a company like G-Shock, being a part of the family. And I mean, I'm sitting next to the Godfather, so that's just a perk right there. But um, I hope everybody is enjoying themselves tonight. It's gonna be a great night. Cheers to 35 years. And uh, I'm already looking forward to the 40th anniversary party because <laughs> they just get better and better. I mean, the 30th was good, but I know 35 is even better. And also, congratulations to Casio and to G-Shock. 100 million watches shipped. Like, that to me is mind-blowing. So I'm just very fortunate and blessed to be part of the family. So enjoy yourselves tonight. Louis, thank you. All right, now joining us on stage are two individuals who happen to be leading collectors in the field of horology. One, a world traveler, photographer, and writer. His latest endeavor, a man and his watch, just hit stores last week. The other is also a writer, spokesperson and avid collector of watches, so much so that 10 years ago, his passion drove him to co-found a gathering of watch aficionados called the Red Bar Crew. The New York-based gathering became so popular that it now boasts worldwide chapters. We're pleased to have both collectors join us this evening. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Matthew Rannick and Adam Craniotis. Wow. We usually let Adam take the lead here, so. So I think that's the plan. Uh, first of all, it is an incredible honor to be here tonight, uh, sitting next to this man. As, as Louis said, 35 years, 100 million watches shipped. Uh, within this industry, that is unprecedented. Uh, I think everybody who's sitting here tonight shares the same passion. And to me, that is what G-Shock means as a collector. Uh, I know that I started with Casio uh, when I was seven years old. I'm actually wearing uh, the first watch I ever had, uh, which he was kind enough, actually, Matt, to feature in his book. Uh, it actually predates G-Shock. But three years after I got this watch, this man invented the G-Shock, and, and my fate was sealed. Uh, I wish I could say that I knew where that original G-Shock was, but when I got my second G-Shock, I set about destroying the first one. And the only thing I can tell you people is that you have to kill it with fire. Um, but we both sort of have a, a similar, uh, I think, affinity for this brand that, that transcends, I mean, uh, anything that, that frankly makes any sense. Well, when I was writing the book, uh, A Man and His Watch, which was telling the stories of iconic watches and the men that wore them, who they were telling, I, I wanted to tell brand stories, but I wanted to find the, the connective emotional DNA that makes us fall in love with a watch. And uh, I knew G-Shock always had to be a part of that. Uh, and I think there was some resistance in the beginning, like sort of like, well, we're not this big luxury brand and you know, there's more expensive watches. And I was like, no, that's, it's not what it's about. Like, I think G-Shock is woven within the DNA of so many watch collectors. If you're collecting big, expensive Swiss brands, it just seems like it's, you're obliged to own a G-Shock as well. I think the stories that came through the exploration of meeting people that owned and collected watches, there were more G-Shock stories than any other single brand. Right. And I was so pleased to have that. And when I, get, when I got to meet the man, I just was like, kind of, I was kind of in awe, you know? Uh, and he's so incredibly humble and sort of, you know, so fascinating to hear him say like, I mean, do you re I don't understand why you really like this watch. I mean, it was, and, and to us, super fans, it was obvious why we loved that watch. You know, and I think uh, something that's worth mentioning here too, and not to put too fine a point on it, but you know, between the two of us, we visited some uh, rather uh, impressive manufacturers, both Swiss and German. Uh, for me personally, probably one of the most exciting experiences that I've ever had was to visit the uh, Yamagata manufacturer, uh, which is where most of these G-Shocks are, are actually produced and tested and made. Uh, I've met plenty of watchmakers in my time, and this man is, is really my hero uh, to this day. And even, you know, not to, again, make too fine a point of it, but, you know, I've had meets where, you know, somebody will bring out a $100,000 watch, and I'll have a, a limited edition G-Shock that maybe I just got, and there are just as many people who are going, 
who brought the G-Sharp? Yeah. Can you hook me up? You know, even the guys with the $100,000 watches still own G-Shocks. And it's a brand that I think has become an icon in its own right. I mean, for me, when I was reaching out to brands, um, you know, very famous Swiss brands, for example, and they were very reluctantly, reluctantly allowing me into their archives. And, and I remember being in contact with G-Shock, and I was like, well, you know, just ship that plastic watch. I mean, what's the big deal? And it was a very big deal. <laughs> and it, it basically came connected to a wrist of a guy in a Halliburton case. And um, the aura around that was so impressive. And then you open it up, and there's this modest, beautiful little prototype G-Shock. And I think everyone in the studio that day was so taken aback by its simplicity and its beauty. And I don't need to get too romantic about it, but we fell in love. We fell in love. Well, truly one of our corporate treasures, believe me, that yeah. little rubber ball. So, yeah. Adam, Matthew, thank you very much. No, it's our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate thank you. It. Pleasure. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Next up is the founder and creative director of one of the country's most popular brands and luxury retailers. You've heard about his many impressive collaborations, including collections with Coca-Cola, Adidas, Nike, Iceberg, Off-White, and Cap'n Crunch. Through his brand, he seeks to shift the current landscape of fashion while operating under a personal philosophy of giving the consumer more than what they pay for. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the founder of the iconic lifestyle brand Kith, Ronnie Feig. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Hey guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for the nice intro. I appreciate the nice words. Um, I'm very happy to be here tonight. You know, if you, uh, if you know anything about uh, Kith and, the, and, and, my, and our brand, it's, uh, we're only interested in, uh, in recognizing and working with the absolute best. You know, and, um, it's funny because I have two short stories. One is G-Shock's 35 years old and so am I. And <laughs> uh, I got to see the brand evolve, you know, since the moment I, can, uh, tell t I, c I was able to tell time I wanted a G-Shock. You know, and um, being able to grow up with the brand and see what you guys have done uh, it was really like the timeline of my life, you know, and, uh, and it was able to evolve as I was growing up. Um, so I've seen what you guys have done uh, since the beginning, and it's been an amazing, uh, it's, it's been an amazing time and a, just an amazing evolution of the brand. And uh, when I was cleaning out my, um, my house before I moved into the city, um, this is uh, years ago, uh, I found an old G-Shock watch of mine. And just like my Dino VFR, which was my freestyle bike that I gave to my nephew, I wanted to give him the watch as well. And I got the battery changed and gave it to my nephew. He was, I think, eight at the time. And he's 15 today and still wears the watch. You know, and it's, uh, it just shows how timeless the brand is. You know, and it's synonymous with, a wa with what a watch is, you know, and that's what a watch is supposed to represent. Being timeless and being classic and just living forever. And I feel like that's what G-Shock does, you know, and you could collect them, but you only really need one because they last forever, you know, and, uh, and that's, those are the most important things to me, you know, is just how timeless the brand is. And that's what I'm trying to build towards with my brand and, you know, we're gonna work together and uh, build an amazing relationship because we stand for the same things. All right. Ronnie, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ronnie Feig. Thank you so much. So eBay, on behalf of everyone here uh, and everyone who dreams big, thank you. Thank you for your contributions, your passion, your persistence, your perspective. You've made timekeeping a better place. Stage is yours, my friend. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
Thank you, everyone. Rui, Adam, Matthew, Ronnie, thank you for your kind and warm words. Thank you very much from my heart. This is my big heart. <laughs> thank you very much. I am really happy to celebrate the 35th anniversary of G-Shock tonight. It's been a crazy and wild ride, and I never would have imagined 35 years ago that we would be here at Madison Square Garden Theater in New York City. <laughs> I'm honored and humbled to be on this journey. As a token of appreciation to all of you, Tonight, I'd like to show you a prototype that no one has seen. Thank you. Everybody knows my first dream was to create an unbreakable watch. Obviously, that dream came true or we wouldn't be here this evening. <laughs> Another dream was to create a G-Shock with metal that still maintained its toughness. I was a project leader of the young team that turn this dream into a reality by developing a shock-absorbing structure. Then I wanted to create a watch that fused toughness with the softest metal. This dream was realized in 2015 when we unveiled a pure gold G-Shock. To achieve this, we had to re-engineer how the module was protected in a new structure we called new shell. The new shell construction used in the pure gold model was inspired by the way a shell naturally protects the body of the creature inside it. It is still in prototype stages, but the team is now working harder than ever to bring it to market. And I truly believe that you will soon be able to wear this model. Tonight, I want to show you another dream, one that takes G-Shock in a new direction, one in which we fuse one of the most fragile materials with G-Shock's hallmark toughness. Do you know what the most fragile material in the world is? It's crystal. Let me show you.
This is a G-Shock made with sapphire crystal. To achieve that, we had to develop a new shock resistant structure. We are calling it all guard structure. It is still under development. I am working so hard to bring this to you. When I achieve this, G-Shock will be both shock resistant and have the ability to maintain its original unused look. Because G-Shock is built to provide ultimate toughness, I think our customers have scratched them and banged them up. It's a kind of history. But this new G concept is completely the opposite. It will resist scratches and signs of wear. This challenge isn't easy, but I do believe it's possible. Something for everyone to look forward to from G-Shock. As well, as always, my promise to you, as you can see today, is to never stop evolving, never ever give up, and make G-Shock the strongest and toughest brand in the world. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Ibe san, thank you. Matthew, Adam, Louis, Ronnie, thank you all really yeah. so much thank for you. sharing the stage with us and sharing your stories. Okay. It's always a pleasure to hear how G-Shock fuses itself into individual lives, creating a unique bond between the watch and those who wear it. Thanks again, guys. All right, we'll be showcasing the Crystal G-Shock out in the lobby in a display within the G-Shock world, so um, be sure to go and check it out, as I think you'll agree, it's pretty amazing. Okay, our next presenter is someone most of you know. He's helped to celebrate the anniversary of G-Shock in the U.S. for the past 10 years. His moniker, Mr. G-Shock, should convey just how passionate he is. He's helped build the global brand for the past 35 years alongside Mr. eBay, carving out marketing successes and trailblazing new customer engagement strategies. His insights have led to some of our most successful collaborations. We're honored to have him here this evening to share his global strategy for G-Shock as we look to the future. Please welcome Mr. Shigenori Ito. Uh, good evening, I'm Shigenori Ito. Thank you for once again for joining us for the special anniversary. It's great to be back in New York City. G-Shock is the most remarkable brand within the Casio portfolio. Since it launched in 1983, G-Shock has become a staple among the global watch community. On September 1st, we achieved a new milestone for G-Shock. We announced that 100 million G-Shocks have sold worldwide. Thank you. Thank you. We are honored by the loyalty of our fans and look forward to extending G-Shock's heritage another 35 years. It's truly rewarding to see how many people 
from all walks of life have come to embrace G-Shock. While the United States was the first country that truly embraced the value of our brand, it wasn't long before a general market followed in your footsteps. Our growth around the world has continued to expand as we reach new audiences and add to our G-Shock family. Not only did G-Shock the watch prove its value in strengths, it showed its strengths as a global brand. What makes G-Shock such a well-accepted global brand? Our success can be attributed to many things, but a few in particular stand out. G-Shock has never compromised from delivering absolute toughness. We have continually evolved to ensure that all of our products retain the toughness spirit, developing new functions and more. In addition, G-Shock has a unique identity it's not just a fashion watch. Over its 35 years, its legacy has achieved the perfect fusion of advanced technology in a cool and meaningful design. Our future evolution will be based on original thinking, and our designers will continue to push boundaries and defy reason. You can count on G-Shock to not only pursue the ultimate in performance, but to deliver absolutely unique and original products for everyone. From professional to fashionista, from board rider to boardroom, G-Shock will continue to establish its place as a global leader in timekeeping. Again, thank you. Thank you for making G-Shock an extension of your life for the past 35 years and becoming royal fan. Thank you very much. Stay here. What? Oh. Stay here. So, what would our anniversary celebration be without a demonstration for Mito, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how many of you here remember our first TV commercial? It went a little something like this. The Casio G-Shock has a super powerful shock absorber. That's why it withstands so much shock. Casio G-Shock. See the new standard size. Casio. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> well, some of you may recall, Ito's been the man who over the years has demonstrated the toughness of G-Shock on stage at all of our Shock the World events. Mm. And since we're here in Madison Square Garden, home of the New York Rangers. Wouldn't it be great to recreate that first TV commercial? So what do you say, Ito? You can? Yep, let's do it. OK. Well, I hope you don't mind, but um, we've invited a special guest to join us for the demonstration. Great. Mm. It is my honor and privilege to invite the captain of your 1994 Stanley Cup champion New York Rangers Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mark Messier. Thank you for coming. Good to be here. Great this to is, be here. Uh, this is, as you know already, this is a thrill for me to, to even be occupying the same space. So Good to be I'm back hoping in Madison Square Garden. It's got to be. Absolutely. Never gets old. Mm-mm. So now that we, uh, we have you here, we're actually hoping you will, in fact, help us recreate this first TV commercial. Well, very Good. powerful uh, commercial, mind you. Mm. Very powerful. So yep, I'm, I'm happy to help, yeah, but I don't Good. know how we're going to do it. What do you mean? Well, we need... You're a we hockey player. No, we need the, I need a stick. Watch it to the net. <laughs> oh, oh, I need a actually, stick. We, uh, we got a stick. Yeah, was, if we got that. I got a, I got a left-handed stick. Is, yeah, you got a left-hand stick? I, I do got a left-hand Well, that's good. Well, that all right? That's, that's a start. That's all right, good. We got a stick. Got, I need a net. I need a net. Well, need actually, a net we've got a regulation NHL net right there. Oh, good. We got a net. And <laughs> we, even got, we even got some Canadian ice. Jeez, and we got ice, too? Yeah. <laughs> We're all set. OK, well, let's do it, then. Let's knock some G-Shocks around. OK. We'll get it going. Here we go. Are we ready? We're good right here? 
Should I do it hard or soft? All the way? Hard? Give it all? <laughs> okay, ready? Oh, I have to. <laughs> okay. Harder? Okay, one more. Top, top shelf. Top shelf. Ow. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh. Well done, Oh. Are they still working? Everyone is still working. Hey. How about that? <laughs> well, that's a that's a pretty good trick, right? Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's not a bad trick at all. How about that? I I have a trick too. You got a trick? Yep. You know what we do when these things come out of the sky, right? What do we do with these? We throw them. <laughs> How about it, boys? All right. Oh. You got it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. How about these ones? I got last one. <laughs> Amen. Hi. Wow. Talk about feeling power. <laughs> what right? was I going to say? Yeah, How that is that? a G-Shark. Yeah, yeah, that's good, a G-Shark. Good, good trick. <laughs> <laughs> Compared with you, a very cheap one. Best part of the night. That's yeah, fine. Hey, Best part good, for them, too. Good stuff. Thank you. Thank sure, you. thank you. Thank Mark, you. thank you so much Good for helping out. Thank you. Great Great to see you. Mark Messier. Shigenori Ito. Thank you very much. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I mean, how about that, right? You guys all settled down now up front here? Are we good to go? Okay. So let's get back to why G-Shock is so popular. G-Shock's popularity came about in part because professionals in the military and first responders started to adopt G-Shock as part of their uniforms. They realized how tough the watch was. And given what they do every day for a living, it was an easy decision. As its popularity increased, skateboarders, surfers, snowboarders, and BMX riders started to wear G-Shock too. Their feedback was great help to us as we continually evolved to improve our quality and technology. Today, we have many athletes who support our brand, and we do our best to support them as they pursue their passions. By the way, another one of our riders, Kanoa Igarashi, this year's winner of the US Open of Surfing, is with us tonight as well. Kanoa, please say hi. <laughs> Kanoa Igarashi. So it wasn't long before fashion trendsetters became aware of G-Shock's cool design. G-Shock has been used in many movies and worn by musicians and artists alike. Our collaborations have not only included street brands and sports brands, such as DGK, Burton, Information, Crink, Stussy, and Bathing Ape, but also high fashion brands like Robert Geller and Maison Martin Margiela. Actually, in Japan, G-Shock is known as a pioneer in the development of collaborations. And because of that, we've developed long-standing relationships with many like-minded global brands. In addition to these exciting collaborations, our engineers continue to explore new ways to ensure G-Shock maintains its strong brand identity while incorporating numerous innovations that make it unique and sustainable. Solar-powered batteries deliver nonstop power. And in some countries, we've implemented self-adjusting timekeeping. Atomic timekeeping or radio-transmitted signals provide accurate time. In 2014, we introduced a GPS atomic timekeeping hybrid that delivers correct time anywhere, even in the most remote locations. This year, we launched a Bluetooth-equipped GPS atomic timekeeping model powered by Casio connected technology. The daylight saving time is in practice everywhere in the world, but for the locations where it is, this technology adjusts the watch automatically by connecting to the internet. 
These features bring absolute convenience to G-Shock's absolute toughness. So from resin to metal, fashionable to professional, practical to luxury, G-Shock has an assortment unlike most brands. Its scope is all-inclusive, and it's no longer gender-specific. More on that a little later. You know a G-Shock when you see one, right? The design of a G-Shock isn't just fashion, it's function, fused with technology and born out of necessity. Today's introductions are no exception. I'd like to invite to the stage our Director of Sales, Pat Lavity, to help me introduce some of our new products. Pat? Thank you, DJ. Good evening, everyone. Are you all having a good time so far? All right. Our G-Shock line is extensive. We have classic resin G-Shock for just about everyone. For the professionals, we have Master of G. The pinnacle of G-Shock, MRG. Metal Twisted MTG. The refined G-Steel and more. So now let's talk about some of the cool new products we have coming out. First up, the GA700UC. Analog Digital Series introduced a bold new case silhouette featuring a 3D dial and hands for a multi-dimensional carved out of metal look. This new design not only improves readability but projects added toughness. And the front button super illuminator LED light adds to its overall dynamic styling. Our new utility color collection features three colorways to complement the ongoing military trend. Inspired by the palettes found in military uniforms and utility jackets, the new collection sees the GA700 outfitted in olive green, khaki tan, and dark gray. Now, let me get some more help up here to show you another cool release in the 700 series. Our next guest has worked with us since 1999. Our brands have a synergy. G-Shock is one of the most well-renowned watch brands in the world and he is one of the most accomplished and acclaimed graphic artists in the world. He created our 25th anniversary logo, as well as our 30th, and now our 35th. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Eric Hayes. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Thank you, DJ, for the wonderful welcome, and uh, nice to be here with you again. Um, I hope everybody's half as thrilled as I am to be here at Madison Square Garden, because I'm still pinching myself. Um, as a native New Yorker, I grew up with more icons, legends in this building than I can even speak on, but uh, thank you, G-Shock, for having this here. This makes this just that much more amazing. Um, I've had the privilege and the honor of working with G-Shock for over 20 years now. Um, sometimes as a designer, sometimes as a brand collaborator, but always as a partner. And what I really want to express up here is not just my gratitude for the opportunities and um, all the wonderful places you've allowed me to go and exist as an artist, um, but I want to really reinforce the fact that it's truly been a collaboration. It's been a relationship that's grown over the years. Um, I've had a, been honored to have a front row seat to the technology and seen the brand grow, not only in its impact around the world, but um, throughout the course of our relationship, creatively, they've presented me with some challenges and 
I, in turn, have presented them with some production challenges at times, and uh, everybody's always been happy to rise to the occasion. So I really feel that the reason G-Shock has sort of achieved the iconic status that it has is it's, it's a very honest brand. Um, the core identity has always been clear, and over the last 10 years, uh, they've really made a focused effort to expand their reach into the arts, into music, and into culture worldwide. And uh, I suppose my participation speaks loudly for that. And uh, again, I just want to thank G-Shock for, uh, for the generosity and for, for listening to me when I speak and to uh, having great ideas themselves. And uh, truly, it, this is a relationship, not just a partnership. Congratulations on the 35th anniversary, and uh, looking forward to many more. Thank you. Enjoy tonight. Eric Hayes. Eric, thank you. What else you got, Pat? In recent years, our line of metal G-Shocks have received high praise for their beauty and their technology. MRG first launched in 1996 as the pinnacle of G-Shock. This evening, we're proud to introduce our transcendent MRG. Using Japanese craftsmanship, Suiki Hammertone made its de debut in 2015. This time-honored method provided each G-Shock and the Hammertone collection uniqueness in its own right. Suiki swept the worldwide market. Today, we have a new MRG. Check this out. The MRG G2000CB was developed based on a concept called Kurozonai, loosely translated to mean Black Guard. It originated from the Samurai Warrior Squad during the Sengoku era in Japan, when they wore dark armor in an effort to overcome negative thoughts and be victorious in battle. The new MRG utilizes a new material called Cobarian that reduces nickel content, which is the main cause of metal allergies. And it's twice as hard as stainless steel, yet has a brightness equal to platinum. Cobarian is a relatively new material that was developed in Japan for jewelry and is also used in biomedical applications. This special cobalt chrome metal is used on the bezel and creates a beautiful mirror finish. And because we're G-Shock, it's not just about the design of materials. Our latest solar-powered MRG features three-way accurate timekeeping. GPS satellite sync, atomic radio controlled, and Bluetooth, providing accurate time anywhere in the world, even in the most remote of destinations. The new MRG G2000CB. Next up, cool, right? Next up is the latest addition to our Master of G collection. Master of G is built for professionals that live to conquer air, sea, and land. Gravity Master, built specifically for aviation experts and features connected GPS capabilities, including Mission Stamp, a function that will record time and location, transmitting that information via Bluetooth to a special smartphone link app, which can then be viewed in a flight log. Golf Master, our first quad sensor G-Shock, comes equipped with four sensors, altimeter barometer, thermometer, compass, and depth gauge. These provide vital information about constantly changing ocean conditions to Coast Guard crews who respond to emergency situations on rough seas. And Mudmaster, constructed to resist mud and vibration so that it can be useful in a variety of harsh land environments. The buttons are protected against dust and dirt to ensure that essential functions are available at all times. We continue to seek advice from those in the field and gather feedback on the latest introductions to determine what's next, and learn how we can evolve to improve or enhance the collection. Just as their professions transform, our watches need to keep up with the tools they use on a daily basis. So what is the next evolution? What should the ultimate G-Shock look like? G-Shock's DNA is to provide accuracy even under the most severe conditions. 
So when it comes to the ultimate G-Shock, it needs to have that same principle. Absolute toughness first and foremost. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to present our newest master of G, Range Man. Check this out. This solar GPS navigation watch has been developed for anyone who explores the globe seeking adventure. The GPS capability is powered by a solar battery. And there's an app with a 3D logging map to help you route your travels. On top of that, it has a triple sensor and is low temperature resistant. The all new design has a rotary dial switch at the three o'clock position that initiates the navigation and logging. The GPS navigation range man has a black ceramic case back which aids in GPS reception. This badass ultimate master of G range man will launch in spring of next year. Yeah, that's a good one. Now, let's get back to our popular metal collections and take a look at G-Steel. G-Steel is a refined line of watches for those who want G-Shock's legendary performance and technology but prefer the look and feel of a metal watch. In other words, refined toughness. The new watches feature an updated layer guard structure that combines metal and resins to absorb shock and is a signature feature of the G-Steel series. Today, we're showcasing the GST B100, a new connected analog chronograph. Because G-Shock is constantly evolving, the watches in this collection are equipped with an engine that connects to internet time servers via a smartphone to keep accurate time anywhere in the world. This is GST B100. An iconic dial indicator at the nine o'clock position is designed in the bold image of the turbine blades on a jet engine. The dial indicator rotates to graphically indicate a lap stopwatch time, alarm on off setting, or battery level, as well as the connection of a smartphone. Of course, it also has a phone, phone finder and many of the other features G-Shock is so well known for. Additionally, I want to show you the GST B100X a world's first, and that it incorporates 40 layers of nanocarbon materials in the bezel. Cutting edge Toreca carbon fiber and nano alloy resin technology from Toray Industries are combined to create a material with excellent shock resistance and an appealing look that augments the bold bezel design. Right? Ah. We're just getting started. Now, as promised, let's take a look at our collection for contemporary women. At G-Shock's 25th anniversary celebration, one of the guests in our audience asked emphatically, when we be introducing a women's version of G-Shock? I'm proud to say that a few years ago, we introduced a collection of watches to answer that challenge. Capitalizing on the popularity of G-Shock among street-style communities, the S-Series collection is our answer for the vast audience of inspiring women that are undeniably strong, both professionally and personally. The collection features the same iconic design and toughness, but it's been scaled down to fit smaller wrists. In addition, we have a variety of color treatments that complement women's streetwear style, so they're great for everyday wear. The GMAS 120M F series features metallic accents across the dial, as well as the iconic 3D and a digi style that are unmistakably G-Shock. This collection comes in matte bands in shades of blue, peach, black, or white. In addition, we're launching our GMAS 130 series, an analog digital step tracker. 
This is G-Shock's first ever fitness-oriented watch. Developed as the timepiece for sporty, tough women who embrace the street style aesthetic inside and out. The model boasts a brand new look in four colors and has capabilities to track each daily step. The automatic step counter display provides an achievement indicator percentage, an activity graph of the last five hours, and a non-active alert so users can easily assess their progress throughout the day. Both series are available in stores now. Okay, as we have in the past, we're introducing some limited edition 35th anniversary models. First up, the Neo Matte Black series. These watches have a special coating to diffuse light reflection for a super matte finish in G-Shock's signature color. The buttons, buckle, and reverse LCD display also maintain its black on black theme. All models have a little something special when it comes to design, and all of them have the case backs engraved with our 35th anniversary logo. We're also bringing back, in limited edition, gold accent models that feature black and red two-tone bands. There's a Gravity Master, a G-Steel featuring the Tureka bezel Pat described earlier, as well as a highly collectible Frogman. The 35th anniversary gold accent models are available next month. So we'll continue to launch special anniversary models throughout 2018, so y'all stay tuned. And since it's our anniversary year, it's, it's only natural that we pay tribute to our original case design. 5600 is still truly a masterpiece. Even 35 years later, our heritage piece is still trending. One of the unique design elements of G-Shock is our use of color. So how about these? We have a throwback to the 80s. Remember them? And our new Winter Glide series. And we're introducing an exciting new 5600 collaboration. Pigalle. Pigalle is a French brand created by Stéphane Ashpool, named after the neighborhood where he grew up. Stéphane shook up the fashion world by taking a neighborhood style and transforming it into a worldwide sensation. Please join me in welcoming Stéphane Ashpool. <laughs> Thank you, DJ. Hello, everyone. I'm pretty happy to be in New York tonight. I hope you too. <laughs> um, I go by the name of Stéphane. I'm from Paris. I'm born in Pigalle, the red light district. I'm your French lover. <laughs> um, I'm the new generation of the G-Shock family. I'm very happy. I'm pretty close to my community in Paris. I take care of a basketball team and a lot of, uh, of the youth. And with the chance of G-Shock, I had the chance to bring all those kids to Japan. We build up a program so they discover Tokyo and uh, some other places through the eyes of, uh, of, uh, of uh, G-Shock and Casio. So it was amazing. What can I say? Larry, what, what should I say? I'm ready to dance? Ready. Yeah? <laughs> I want a party. Yeah, I'm growing inside, actually. Um, it was a lot of fun also to, to design the watch. I wanted to touch different crowd, like from a young crowd to an older crowd. So I hope you like it. I'm ready to groove, as I said. See you later. I'm going to dance with awesome. you. Awesome. Thank you, DJ. Stefan, thank you. Thank you. So what do you think? Hello? What do you think? Yeah. Well, I hope you like what you've seen. So to recap, these are our new G-Shocks. GA700 utility colors, featuring a new case design with the iconic front button in new colorways. MRG G2000CB, the pinnacle of G-Shock, featuring a new, stronger material, Cobarian. 
the new Rangeman, solar-powered outdoor GPS functionality with the absolute toughness that Master of G fans demand. GST B100, the refined toughness of G steel now connected for incredible accuracy. The new additions to our G-Shock S uh, line for women. And lastly, our origin, our masterpiece, the 5600. It's been an amazing journey over the years, and if I know Casio, I know we've only just begun. A hundred million G-Shocks to date. A hundred million. <laughs> and many, many more to go. So here's to another, 30, another 35 years. Thank you all. Have a good night. <laughs>